I made it surprisingly far in residency without having to know how to use one of these. And then the one day that I needed to use it, I realized I had no clue what I was doing. So this is a quick video just to show you basics of how to use this. So most people I think call this an anesthesia bag. You can also call it a breathing bag um, or a flow inflating bag. So you're gonna use one of these if you ever need to transport a patient intubated um, in the hospital um, or you're just out not in the OR and you're with the patient and you need to support their airway or give them bag mask ventilation, that's when this is gonna come in handy. Um, so this bag does not have everything that you need in it. You're gonna need this bag, you're gonna need an oxygen supply. So that could be the oxygen tank at the bottom of your cart or a portable oxygen tank. Um, remember here that most of our carts have an oxygen tank at the bottom of the cart, but those big ortho beds uh, don't. So for those big ortho beds, you're gonna need to get portable oxygen. Um, so your bag, your oxygen, and then some sort of way to deliver the oxygen to the patient. That's either gonna be your mask. So let's say you're taking your patient from the OR to the PACU. Don't forget to bring your mask with you if you're gonna bring this. Um, so either your mask or like an endotracheal tube if they're intubated or whatever invasive airway they have. So I have this opened up here. This is where we're going to attach our oxygen supply, either um, a portable oxygen tank or um, that tank that's on the bottom of our carts. Right now, I'm just gonna plug it into our anesthesia machine here. And when you turn on your flows, start it at least 10 liters per minute. So I'm setting that to 10. So right now air is just like going through this and going out into the wilderness. Uh, so to get this bag to fill up with air so that we can actually ventilate our patient, you're gonna need a good seal. Um, so slowly but surely, this bag is gonna fill with oxygen so that I can ventilate my patient. Uh, so we have our oxygen flow going and let's say our patient is intubated. You're just gonna plug this right into your endotracheal tube. If it's a mask, you're just gonna plug it into your mask there. We'll go with the endotracheal tube for now. And so you can see as I turn my flows up and I close off my valve here, this bag is gonna fill with air so that I can actually ventilate my patient. I think one thing that threw me off about this whole thing and it just made it confusing was just this whole scenario. So this is like your pop-off valve or your APL valve or your PEEP valve. Um, so this dial essentially sets the pressure inside this entire circuit. There's no numbers on this. There's just a plus or a minus. So as it's more minus, this circuit will tolerate a lower pressure before it starts letting air out through that pop-off mechanism. As I turn it more towards the plus side, it's going to allow a higher pressure within this whole circuit. So you'll see everything kind of tighten up uh, before air is released from this pop-off mechanism. So this is how you're gonna set PEEP for your patients. So right now I have it turned totally, totally open, so totally negative. You can see as I'm ventilating here, at the end of the breath, it's going down to zero. But let's say I wanna give my patient a little bit of PEEP. What I'm gonna do is close this valve off, off. So now there's gonna be a higher pressure tolerated in this circuit, including at the end of expiration. So now as I'm ventilating, it's not going down quite as far. So I'm, I'm able to give my patient some PEEP by closing off this valve. And by closing off, I mean turning it more towards the plus side. Again, no numbers on this. You're just gonna have to go by the feel of the bag as well as when you're ventilating, kind of where your pressure gauge is ending up.